It's 2FM, uh, it is Arthur's Day, and it's a pleasure to meet Jake and Del from the Scissor Sisters. How are you guys doing? Is this your 400th interview in a row? Um, no, it's no, just been a few. it's our second coffee. It's our second coffee. Yeah, we're getting it together. Now tell me this, uh, it's, it's a very big piece of news before I get into the Arthur's Day stuff. Um, I don't know if anyone's asked you about what are you, like REM, I'm wearing black today because REM have decided to call mm. it a day. REM have been a big part of my musical life since I was you know, since I became aware of music and through all my, you know, becoming a TJ, teenager and all. And that stopped last night. Has, has this meant anything to you guys? Uh, Michael is, is a super close friend of mine. And, uh, and I, ha I wasn't aware of this and I just heard the news last night. So, um, it doesn't really, I have a feeling like they may be, they may have stopped making albums for now, but I just, I, I can't imagine it's going to be a forever thing. I really can't. I have a feeling they'll pick it back up again. As, as R.E.M.? Yeah. I just can't, I can't imagine that they won't. I really don't think that they've played their last gig together. At least I hope not. Maybe that's just wishful thinking. But, um, but yeah, they're, they're, I mean, they're, they're an incredible, incredible band. Yeah. And um, what do you think of the coming over here to do this Arthur's Day thing? Do you understand what it's all about and, uh, and what's actually happening here in Dublin today? I don't think we'll ever fully understand until we actually <laughs> play the gigs. Um, but we're really looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, I came down on a motorbike today and I knew I was meeting some style, stylish type people. And so what I did was I took off my helmet and I went into a pub and I put some gel in my hair because I was very nervous about turning up not looking great. Could you give me any style tips? You are, because you are, you are kind of paragons of, of maleness uh, in a way whereby, how would I sort out my double chin? Have you any ideas? Yeah. What could I do? have a double chin. Come Look, on. when I sit... Uh, no. Scot Scotch tape. <laughs> there has to be... It, it, this thing where you, where you slap your no. face like that, does that work? No, no, no. You don't, no, no, no. Your chin looks great. Oh. Really? I wouldn't do it. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. do anything to it. Jake says my chin looks great. Everybody, uh, you've got that. Okay, fair enough. And Jake, I've... Um, I heard, is it possible that you've had some wardrobe malfunctions? Could that happen this evening? There's always wardrobe malfunctions. I hope, I don't think so this evening. It usually happens when I'm wearing like some sort of, if I'm wearing trousers that are too tight, um, things can happen. Uh, it's always dangerous when you're wearing, you know, clothes that have been made and there's always weird little. If they're not tested, like in a full show and someone just sends you something and you put it on without it's something, you know, you have to think people don't always know what goes into performance and how to reinforce a seam or what kind of material stretches. So there are disasters that happen. Is a disaster that you relish at the time, though? Um, I don't for, mind. for at least ventilation purposes. I don't get I, I don't I'm, I'm definitely not like a, 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 what would you call a little. Your uh, I'm, slips are purposeful. Yeah, I'm not like a little flower. I'm I'm very. I, I, I'm very unashamed, and uh, yeah, it doesn't really bother you me that much. Announce it, though, I'll announce it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, just because I feel like you might as well just wear it on your sleeve if something's happening, you might just right. as well tell the audience, be like, "Pardon me for a minute, my my, nut is my yeah, out. my testicles have fallen out of my shorts." <laughs> well, it happens in sport all the time, so why not let it happen? And in, this, in, is, rock, in and this is a sport. This is a very athletic thing that we do. So uh, you're playing in a pub as well. You're playing you're one of the main performances in the Olympia Theatre, and you're playing in a pub, a small Irish pub later on. What's it feel like to go back to that? Because I'd imagine you haven't done that in years and years and years. Uh, it's super exciting. We love playing little intimate gigs, and uh, especially doing something acoustic, which we rarely, rarely do, and I'm sure that'll come across. Hopefully you won't <laughs> know why. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's... it's um, but we're, we're look, we like playing small things. Anna especially loves playing a small room. Well, uh, is there anything we can expect here in Dublin? And have you been to Dublin before? Have you ever en uh, enjoyed the entertainment and the nightlife of Dublin before? Anna's got a friend that hosts uh, uh, Wednesday nights at the Georgian Dragon, her friend Enda, um, who, you know, there have been lots of... We've all been uh, out there on a Wednesday before. Yeah. yeah. Lots of late nights with Enda. I think there's a there's transvestite bingo that happens in the... Is it, is, is it in Panty Bar? Or is it the, uh, the George, I think? Oh, sorry, in the front lounge is another place you want to check out. If you can hang around till Sunday, it's fantastic transvestite bingo. Uh, you could enjoy that as well. It's the George, yeah. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm being given misinformation here. I'm sure. I love, the, I love the name transvestite bingo. I just love the word transvestite. I feel like it's very underused these days. 
It is underused, and maybe you could bring back the transvestite bingo. Or talk to the people in the George about maybe doing it across uh, New York. The thing that I like about transvestites is that it's not necessarily about having to try to look like a woman. It's just about your average bloke putting on a pair of panties and a bra. Not and passing. Like, and a, yeah, it's and a, it's tra a transvestite, just a man in a wig. Where's the best yeah. place? Uh, Bristol. Online. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> online is the best place to find fierce transvestites. Such as? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know sites. We've got pictures up in our studio of like amazing online transvestites. And on that note, uh, on after afternoon time, two FM. Uh, let me. All it leads me to say is uh, uh, thank you for coming over and, uh, for this and dark, um, bringing light to an otherwise slightly dark day. And I hope your gig is fantastic. And we'll be checking a bit of it out later on on two FM. Thanks, Jake. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. And thank you, Dale. Yeah. Thanks.